I have a sense that the Lord is calling us to be careful with our words. Words are important. God spoke the world into existence with his words. And you and I are created in the image of God to be just like him. And he wants us to know that every word spoken will produce either life or death in our lives. We have to be very mindful of the words that we speak. You know, the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so we need to recognize that if we are speaking negative words, then there's an abundance of negative things in our hearts. And we need to confront those things. We need to get to the root cause of why we are angry, why we are fearful, why we gossip, why we steal, why we lie, why we feel guilty, condemned, ashamed, why, why we are jealous envious of others, why we compare ourselves to others. It's important to identify the root cause of the way we act and the way we speak. And so a lot of things also go on in our mind. They come out of our heart, they fester in our mind, we think about them constantly. And it's the things that we think about that we speak verbally. And so we need to recognize and be careful of the thoughts that we think because they are so, so powerful. And I sense the Lord just telling us to be mindful of the words that we speak. Many times we think that the Lord is putting sickness, disease on us. He's causing us to experience trials and tribulations. We have a tendency to blame God for a lot of things. We blame God for not answering our prayers when we pray because we pray one thing, but we speak negatively. And so we negate the prayers that we, we pray. And God is saying to us, be careful of the words that you speak because I can't come in and do what I want to do because you negate them all the time with the words that you speak. So often we say things like, I'm always sick. I can't shake this cold. And we repeat that over and over again. And what happens? We remain with the sickness and the disease and the cold never leaves. I'm sick and tired. So that means that you don't have any energy. You're always tired. We speak those into existence. You make me sick, we say to our children, we say to our family members. And then we are sick because we've spoken those into existence. Nothing good ever happens to me. My nerves are shot. <laughs> I live paycheck to paycheck. And there's so many others. We just speak these things glibly and expect things to be okay with us. Proverbs 18 verse 21 says, death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit. 1 Peter 3 verse 10 says, for he who would love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips from peak speaking deceit. Family, God is warning us today. And we wonder why things are not changing for us, why things are not happening for us, why we can't get over the sickness and the disease, why we keep going around the same mountain. God is speaking. He's speaking clearly. And he always speaks because he loves us and he wants us to succeed and he wants us to enjoy life. And so it's so important that we watch those words. I've been there. I've said things that I shouldn't have said. I'm not totally clear. <laughs> you know, I'm not totally healed. 
of just speaking positively. There's times when, you know, it just comes out. But I'm much better than I used to be. There was a scripture that the Lord would constantly remind me of. And it's the scripture that says, it's also found in Proverbs. I just don't know exactly where right now. But it says that there's one that speaks like the piercing of a sword. But the tongue of the wise promotes health. And I pray that you will recognize the importance of your words. That you speak life over yourself, life over your family, life over the situations that you find yourself in. And constantly be mindful of the thoughts that you are thinking so that you can renew your mind. The Bible says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It's so important that we renew our mind to God's word and to God's way. And then it helps us speak in, to speak life over every situation because we know the word of God. And the Bible says the word of God is living and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. The, the word will not return to him void, but will accomplish that which it was set out to do. The Bible says he, the word divides between soul and spirit, joint and marrow, and is a discerner of the intents of the heart. Can we be mindful of the thoughts that we think and the words that we speak so that God can come in and bring healing and deliverance and restore and cause us to triumph and see the victory that we so long for. Your words are important. So can I pray for us? Lord, we just come to you today and we thank you for this word right now, speaking into our hearts and into our lives. Help us to be so mindful of the thoughts that we think and the words that we speak so that they always produce life. We thank you that you are a big God and you're an awesome God. And even right now in this season, you're bringing our attention to the words that we speak. And we declare that we're not only hearers of your word, but we are doers as well. We thank you for the power in our words. And so we are going to speak life-giving words. We're going to speak healing in every situation. We're going to declare the victory and the triumph. And we're going to experience your peace and your joy. And the fact that you've come to give us life and life more abundantly. So when we listen to your word, we honor your word by obeying your word. Thank you for this word today. Thank you that you're speaking loud and clear. We give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, because you're always trying to get something new and amazing to us. And so today, Lord, we honor your word by going to be mindful of the words that we speak so that we can see your glory in every area of our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Have a really great day in Jesus' name.